Welcome to the Celex video channel. In this video, we'll explain the process for comparing the Inish analyzer with a hemocytometer. For the experiment, first, a sample is prepared with an unknown concentration, X cells per milliliter. The concentration is measured using a hemocytometer. The Inish analyzer is rated for cell concentrations between 50,000 and 2 million cells per milliliter for SIM60. So if your sample concentration is above 4 million cells per milliliter, dilute it down to 4 million cells per milliliter. This solution is labelled D0 and will be treated as a stock solution. However, if your sample concentration is below 4 million cells per milliliter, just take that concentration as D0 and make sure that in the serial dilutions, your concentration never dips below the rated concentration of 50,000 cells per milliliter. With D0 prepared, the next step is serial dilution. D0 is diluted by half and labeled D1. When preparing and measuring the concentration in serial dilutions, the solution must be homogeneous. So in order to avoid the error of having samples separate into layers, the sample needs to be agitated using either a vortex mixer or by pipetting the solution up and down. D1 is then measured using a hemocytometer and using the Inish analyzer three times. We're measuring the concentration at least three times to calculate both the mean and the standard deviation of the measurements for a rigorous comparison. It's important to take the three measurements in parallel. In other words, after preparing a solution, you measure the concentration first using a hemocytometer, then using the Inish analyzer, then using the hemocytometer again, then the Inish again, etc until you've taken all your measurements. After taking your measurements, D1 is diluted by half again to make D2, which is again measured using the hemocytometer and using the Inish analyzer at least three times as before. This whole process is repeated for D3, D4, and D5. Note, it's important that the measurements are taken directly after every dilution to avoid the error of time variability. The measurements won't be clear all the serial dilutions are made, and then all the measurements are made afterwards. When you've finished with the serial dilutions and taking all your measurements, in order to plot the values to see the correlation, find the mean and the standard deviation for the measurement of each solution on both the hemocytometer and the inch analyzer, and plot them as shown. Repeating this for every value and drawing a line of best fit should give you a straight line of y equals x. You'll notice that the Inish Analyzer results have a smaller standard deviation, showing that the Inish Analyzer is much more precise and doesn't suffer from the human errors found in using a hemocytometer. The Inish Analyzer gives results you can trust, empowering your research. If you'd like to learn more about our microfluidic solutions, check out our website at wearecelix.com or contact us using the info on screen or in the description below.